Hi guys, today we're going to be putting this Cozarex Advanced Nail 96% Mutant Power Essence to the test for one entire week and see what happens to my skin. Now, I am super excited to try this out just because this is one of the most popular snail-based products in the market in Korea. And on top of that, it is also quite cheap, not to mention that the reviews for this product seem to be amazing. So I really have to try this out. Now, as I already mentioned, this is 96% Snail Mutant and apparently it's supposed to be very good at hydrating your skin because it can contains hyaluronic acid, which is actually quite cute. On top of that, it contains glycolic acid, so it's supposed to not only brighten up your skin, but also reduce the fine lines and wrinkles, as well as it is antimicrobial, meaning it is supposed to reduce the acne and pimples that you have in your skin. This is supposed to be an all-in-one product, but Cosrx, these are some very big claims that you're making. So I will put this to the test and I will take you guys with me. Are we ready? Let's start. Okay, you guys, so I first wanna show you what my skin looks like. I have a dry patch right here. I also have dry patches close to the nose and under here the chin as well as a few pimples here on the cheeks as you can see and so i'm very curious to see if this will help with my dry patches but anyways i want to see the consistency i'm very curious Ooh, okay Ooh, it's very slimy and sticky Ooh, oh my god this is a weird feeling but i definitely like it as you can see that little amount literally covered the whole two cheeks which is definitely good and by the way this doesn't have any scent like i thought it had like a snail or maybe like a nature kind of smell but really it doesn't smell like anything but it definitely feels very nice on my skin oh i quite like it okay you guys so it's day two i'm applying this essence once again now i want to show you look how small of an amount it dispenses like this pump dispenses can you see it's so little so i literally use just two pumps to cover my whole entire face and actually i wanted to comment on the percentage because you guys 96 percent in snail mucin is actually very high snail mucin is actually a very popular ingredient in korean skin However, there are not many products that actually contain this high of a percentage. Like, usually it's more like 50, 60 percent. So, as you can see, I'm also blending it down my neck. So, really, this is really good, you guys. Anyways, this is what my skin looks like on day two. As you can see, not much of a change. I do still have my pimples and dry patches. But, I mean, it's definitely very early in this experiment. So, we, we need more time to know. But, so, definitely keep on watching. Oh, my God, you guys. So, I'm doing my morning routine. I wasn't planning on filming. But, I still use the Essence, the Cosrx Snail One and look what happened it's peeling up right now like i've used the resveratrol by the ordinary and when i applied it on top of this it started peeling up oh my god okay so this is definitely not good i'll keep you updated okay you guys so it's day four time for me to essence up a bit and now by the way i have found a way to not make this peel up but i will reserve it for the end of the video so if you want to know how to not make this peel then definitely you have to keep on watching till the end that's just how it works but anyways you guys i want to say i I feel like my skin is definitely getting a bit glowier and also definitely a lot more moisturized. And at first I thought it was quite a little bit disgusting putting snail mucus on your skin. However, I'm actually quite enjoying it a bit. And now you guys, I also do want to mention to make this test as fair as possible, I have kept all other variables constant. Hence, I have kept my skin routine exactly the same apart from switching out the essence that I was using before with this one right here. And then I also kept my diet exactly the same. And also I've been wearing makeup every day like I always do so that if there were to be any change at all, to my skin we would know that it would have been only this essence so there you go you're welcome anyways you guys this is day four i'm definitely quite happy as it's going right now however we're still very much in the middle of this experiment so let's keep watching and see how this performs in a full week so definitely stay tuned for day six okay you guys let's wrap this up don't be silly wrap your willy <laughs> It's gonna be one of those days, is it? I could already tell. But anyways, y'all are here for my final thoughts and results, so here they are. First off, I wanna get this out of the way. The peeling up incidents that I had in the vlogs that I showed you guys, that actually has persisted quite often throughout the whole entire week. So that is definitely one thing that I don't like and I have to get this out of the way before I start talking about the good things because there are definitely a lot of good things. However, this is just a huge no-no for me. However, I think I have found a way to not make this peel up and that is y'all have to be quick, Speedy Gonzalez, your skincare out of the way. <laughs> Because once you put this on, you don't want your skin to dry. Especially, I have found this to peel up more with resveratrols and vitamin Cs or antioxidants in general. I don't know why. Maybe it's a reaction that the snail is having with the antioxidants. Maybe snails don't like vitamin Cs. Do snails eat oranges? I'm gonna have to check that. But if it don't, then we know why. Because it will make them bunch up. And oh my god, by the way, did you know that if you put a little salt on a snail, that snail will actually like dissolve? How sad is that? That is so sad. That is so sad. No, why is it so I 
just have to win this competition. I actually saw some videos back when I was little of like some really disgusting people putting that salt on the snails and the snails like dying because of it. That was like so sad. But this is not the point. The point is this does unfortunately peel up a lot. One thing that can actually help it, I'm not quite sure. I have to test it out a little bit more to be completely sure about this theory. And that is would be applying a hyaluronic acid on top of it. I feel like that could extend the amount of time that you can wait between your skincare steps and not make this peel up. But again, I'm not quite sure about it yet just because I've only been using this for a week. This is, by the way, the amount that I've used, which actually links me to the points that I like about this. So the first thing that I love is the pump, you guys. And no, get your mind out of the gutter. I'm not talking about that pump. I'm talking about the pump on this. And as I'm sure you've seen from vlogs, I feel like I actually even said it specifically on day one when I was shocked about this pump, but it actually dispenses so little product, which is actually just the right amount of essence that you actually really need. But usually what I find is that with other essences, they have just like a hole right here, but usually I'm not quite good at dispensing and knowing how much product I need. So having a guide like this, which truly tells me, Mateo, right, I'm gonna tell you what you need right now. This is the amount that you need, make it work for you. This is all I'm giving you right here. You, you make this work. It's like being on a diet. You don't want to overeat. That is the same for skincare. You don't want to over skincareize. You don't want to do that. Just like eating too much is bad. Over skincareizing, I just coined that by the way. And yes, it is a word now. Over skincareizing is bad for your skin. On top of that, also a little side note that is not actually a side note because it's actually a really nice good thing is that this will not make you waste the essence and therefore it's going to be actually a lot cheaper in the long term, long run, which is actually also a bonus. Honestly, like Korean skincare is miles, years away from Western beauty. Like the, we're living in 2020. They're living in 2060. Mm -hmm. the, yes, they are that advanced. If you're not on Korean skincare yet, get on that train, get on that boat, get on that plane and go there. So actually another thing that I like is of course the results. I started this video with a little bit of dry patches and actually a little bit of itchy skin. Of course, I mean, it's winter now, so the air is just very cold on top of that, I'm in the UK. Keep that in mind. That means that whenever I step out of my house, my skin is just <laughs> with all the moisture. So really, this truly helped me out in that. She was so cute. She was so nice. She was like, Mateo, come here. I'm gonna hug you right here. I'm actually gonna keep you warm in this safe space. Shh. But actually, I'm gonna come closer and I'm gonna show you the materials because they say that a picture speaks a thousand words. So here you go. This is actually a video, so it speaks even more words. Do you see any dry patches? I always say it, but do you see any? Look at how glowy my skin is. First of all, I mean, I do have a little bit of highlighter to help out, but still, it is moisturized. It is elastic right here. Look at this. Look at this. It did not clog my pores. I was actually a little bit scared of using this just because I never used the snail mucus before on my skin. And so I was like, hmm, snail snail. Not. Is that really a thing? I mean, why not just use my snot at this point? But actually, the snail snot turned out to be amazing. So thank you, snails, if you're watching. Thank you. So I just want to give you, like, I just want to show my appreciation firsthand. So any snails watching, thank you so much for so kindly and generously giving us your snot. Thank you so much for that. And yes, by the way, for anyone wondering, this is also very good and suited for acne-prone, oily skin. People just like me, because y'all know I like to call myself the sebum queen. And so rightfully so because I produce a very just like questionable and worrying amount of sebum. It did not clog my pores. No blackheads in sight. No whiteheads in sight. I mean I do have that occasional pimple or that redness residual of the pimple but girl look at how cute my skin is looking. No I mean really stop the video and look. Please stop. My goodness like what? Do you not see the evidence that I'm providing? What are you waiting? Girl, I am in love with my skin right now and it is all thanks to the snail snot. Anyways, this is how much I used in this week, in this trial week of trying of using this. And I was using two pumps on the face, and one slash two pumps on the neck. Always remember the neck, girl, because the neck is going to snitch on you. It's actually one of the first things to show your age along with the hands. I've used this amount for one week, so I feel I'm actually going to count it right now live for y'all. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, so we're more than a month now. Five weeks, six weeks. This is going to run you seven weeks, girl, so this is about two months. And since I recommend it, I mean, y'all probably already know that I'm in love with this. I'm actually just going to... 
This bitch just wants some camera time. She's desperate for attention. But I don't like drama, you know? I'm all about sex. It's much better. At least you're not hurting anybody. I'm actually gonna recommend this to y'all. Now, I wanna say I bought this specifically from Yes Style, which is actually a Korean website, or just a website in general where you can buy Korean skincare, Japanese skincare, just skincare coming from Asia, but not only skincare, you could also buy jewelry, whatever. But I bought that for 11 pounds, uh-huh. But I actually went on Amazon just to check it out just because the shipping times for Yestel is three weeks and I didn't know that you could buy Korean skincare on Amazon. But then one of my friends, she was like, oh my God, I use Cosrx too, but why are you buying it from Yestel? I bought all my stuff from Amazon. And I was like, girl, what? You buy it from Amazon? Do, do they do prime shipping? And I'm like, yeah, girl, what are you wasting? And I was like, girl, I didn't know. I was really tapping into some serious acting skills there. So I just pulled up how much the product is, 14 pounds. So y'all, it is actually three pounds more, but you would be getting it next day delivery instead of waiting three weeks. I like my things to come quick because I do not have time to waste. I do like the things that I order to come quick. I also like other stuff in my bedroom, for example, to come quick. And girl, don't you worry because I got you covered as always. So I linked it down below. I linked the cheapest product lipstick that I could find both on Amazon US and Amazon OK down below in the pinned comments. So if you want to go buy it, go buy it from that link. It's going to be real easy. And I have to just claim that is an affiliate link, meaning instead of giving all the money to Amazon, you will be giving a little bit, a small amount to me. You won't be paying more, not at all. You would just be giving less to Amazon, which really, does she need more money than that? I'm not pressing you to buy it. I'm just saying if you want to buy it and support me, go buy it from there. Enough with the begging. Now, if we're being real and honest right now, just a moment of silence and honesty between me and you. Will I be using this in my skincare routine after this experiment is over? And the answer is yes. There's a but, however. But this but is actually quite big. Almost as big as Kylie's and Kim Kardashian's is but, but it's still very a but to be reckoned with. And that is, I won't be using this both morning and night. I will just be using this at night. Anyways, ma'am, enough of the chit chat. If you've watched this far, let me put this down because this is serious. If you have watched this far, and you have not yet subscribed, but you are maybe considering about it, why don't I just give you a little bit of a push right here and tell you why you should subscribe. And I'm gonna tell you right now, mm -hmm. because if you're interested in skincare, if you're crazy about skincare just like me, I'm here for you to help you out. So what you need to do is just subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of my uploads. I would love for you to join the random family. We're really cool. We're very chill. We don't spam around here. We don't. We truly don't. We don't send no emails at home. We don't come knocking at your door with a Bible just like the Jehovah's Witnesses. We don't do nothing of that. So you might as well just subscribe and join. I'd love to have you here. Anyways, randoms for all my regular subscribers watching. Y'all know what time of the video that is now. And that is the... That is the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this little cute snail mutant power essence by Cozar X 96%, whatever this is called, the Italian word of the video is going to be lumaca, which is snail in English. Thank you to all the snails once again for providing your snail, your mucus, your snot to us. I hope they're not hurting you and harming you because in that case, I would feel really bad about using your snot. I hope they're feeding you well, snails, because you deserve it. Use a hard worker snail. You've been working over time. I see you there working. Anyways, girl, if you thought it was just to click off this video and go away, you thought that wrong because even though I am a little bit crazy right now, I'm gonna tell you that I'm as crazy as I am right now in these other two videos. So you should definitely watch them. But girl, enough of the chit chat. Remember to be random and always be random. Yes.